and welcome all my dear grade 8 elite students to my channel mathematics made easy welcome to your term 3 math exam review today is the last video on learning objective 10 from part 1 where you are going to prove the triangle angle sum theorem and apply it to solve problems there is a much worth video make sure you watch it till the end and we are going to cover some most important questions in this video so stay tuned to my video till the end and make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel so that it serves as a motivation for me to make more and more videos for you and stay glued for part two of your exam review so let's first understand the triangle angle sum theorem that will help you for today's video so remember interior angle of a triangle is a triangle uh, is the angle which is at the vertex of a triangle and interior means inside so this angle is going to be inside also you know a triangle has three vertices so there are going to be three interior angles and the theorem triangle angle sum theorem relates the sum that means you add all the three angles measures of the interior angles of a triangle and that is also always going to be 180 degree so for example i have a triangle here let me name it triangle a b c so you see three vertices so accordingly there are going to be three angles this is the measure of interior angle a interior because it is inside and it is at the vertex then this is the next vertex this is the interior angle b interior angle c so when you add all these three angles of the triangle that means you take the sum of them then all of these when you add them is going to be 180 degrees this is your triangle angle sum theorem and let's now solve it uh, use it to solve problems so in today's video we are solving problems 1 to 6 and for each of these problems we are going to find uh, the measured or the numbered angle so if you see the numbered angle angle 1 is there angle 2 is there so in this question you have to find angle 1 and angle 2 in this question again you have to find angle 1 and angle and if you see these two are going to be equal because they are vertically opposite angles next here you have to find angle 1 2 and 3 similarly in question 4 you have to find angle 1 and angle 2 um, both are given to be equal because they have the same pink measure in question 5 you have to find measure of angle x and in question 6 again you have to find measure of angle x which is equal here so let's find them using the triangle angle sum theorem. Let's now solve uh, question 1 using the triangle angle theorem. So first have a look at the smaller triangle, this one. So we need to find angle 1 here. So angle 1 is this angle and in this triangle, this angle is given to be 90, uh, sorry, this angle is given to be 60, this angle is 90. So how much is going to be this? Let's add. So 60 plus 90 plus let me take this angle 1 as angle x then the sum is going to be 180 by the theorem so now from here you can get your value of x so x is going to be 30 degrees so your angle 1 is going to be 30 degrees so what do you do you add 9 plus 6 uh, so that comes out to be 150 so subtract from 180 150 and that's how you get 30 now let's come to the next triangle in this one you have angle 2 that you need to find so angle 2 what are the three angles here angle 2 plus this is 90 plus this is 30 so all of them when added gives you 180 so simplify to get angle 2 so this is going to be 180 minus 9 plus 3 is 12 so subtract so angle 2 is going to be 60 so this is how you get the angle 1 and angle 2 now let's go to question 2 here you see again two triangles so in this triangle angle m is given angle p is given angle 1 you have to find so we can make the equation 66 plus 58 add all three angles let the, let's take this as x and make it equal to 180 degree simplify and your angle x comes out to be 
just add these two and subtract from 180 so this comes out to be 56 now notice angle 1 and angle 2 are going to be equal why because they are vertically opposite so both of them are going to have the same measure 56 so these are vertically uh, opposite angles giving equal measure so now that you have angle 2 let's find angle 3 so now I'm taking this triangle the second one and adding all three so what will you get angle 2 is 56 this angle is 50 plus angle 3 all of them are going to give you 180 again simplify and your angle 3 will come out to be 74 degrees so that is how we are applying the triangle angle theorem let's do one more question 3 so again in this we have to find three angles let me mark this is the first angle this is the second angle and this one is the third angle so first look at this triangle so in this triangle you are given the measure of two angles 35 and 36 and angle 1 is what you have to find so you can add 35 36 let's take this angle to be x then all of this is going to give you 180 so again simplify this so what will uh, come as x you will get the value of x as 109 so once you get angle 1 you know now you have to get angle 2 so for angle 2 let me make the triangle now so this is the triangle so for angle 2 you need this angle so this angle plus angle 1 is going to be 180 why because this is a linear pair it's a straight line here so you can write 109 plus let's take this angle as y y is going to be 180 and can we say this angle and angle 3 are going to be equal yes the reason is they are again vertically opposite angle so if you simplify your y comes out to be 71 degree so we have got angle 3 as 71 degree now we need angle 2 so for that we take this triangle again apply angle sum properties so 80 plus angle 2 plus this angle is 71 is going to be 180 so when you simplify this angle 2 comes out to be 29 degrees so this is how you solve <clears throat> question 4 is very easy these two angles are already given to be equal so if this is x this is also x so you can simplify by saying 146 plus x plus x both are equal it's going to be 180 so this is going to be 2x okay and 180 minus 146 so your x is going to be 17 degrees and angle 1 and angle 2 both are equal to the same value 17 in a similar way i want you to solve question 5 and question 6 and then you may check your answers in the next slide so the concept we are going to use here for this triangle is we need the value of x so in this triangle this angle is given to be 2x this is 95 you can calculate this angle as 180 minus 145 why because this plus this 145 is going to give you 180 being a linear pair being a straight line so when you simplify you get 2x plus 95 plus this angle which is actually 35 equal to 180 so solve for x so it will give you 2x is equal to 145 minus 95 or your x is going to be 50 here. Okay, so that's the value of x. Last question. Here again, this angle and this angle both are given to be x. You can find this angle by subtracting from 180. So 180 minus 58 is going to be this angle. Then apply the angle sum property. So your value of x will come out to be 29. So this is how you solve the questions. Let's check your final answers in the next slide. So let's now check the correct final answer. So for question number one, angle one is 30, angle two is 60. For question number two, angle one is 56, angle two is equal to angle one, which is 56. Measure of angle three is 74. 
In question 3, the final answer for angle 1 is 109, for angle 2 is 29, for angle 3 is 71. In question 4, angle 1 and 2 are equal to 17. In question 5, uh, angle X is 50 and in question 6, angle X is 50. So these are your final correct answers. Now you may check your answers using this answer key. Bring us to the end of today's session. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, and if you did, make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends who are going to give the exam on 12th of June. And this is Miss Ritika wishing all of you all the very best for your coming exam. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more revision videos coming up especially for all of you. Bye-bye.